Hello everyone. Today we will see how to interface a 8 bit DAC with 8051 microcontroller. So before that, let's see what is a DAC is actually about. So DAC is nothing but digital to analog converter which consists of digital inputs and one analog output. So these digital inputs number can vary. Right now we are going to study a 8 bit micro 8 bit DAC and uh, which converts the 8 bit digital data to a corresponding analog output. So the DAC is basically used to generate different waveforms or a PW impulses sometime to get different analog levels for a corresponding digital voltage. So DAC basically constructed using R to R ladder circuit. So the basic functionality of a DAC is mainly to convert digital inputs to analog output. To study this DAC we are going to use one of the chipset that is a system specific uh, ASIC chip for the DAC as 0808. 0808 uh, is one of the chipset which is an 8 bit DAC uh, from the TI Texas Instruments. So, which has 8 uh, digital inputs and 1 analog outputs. So, the DAC works using an R to R ladder circuit. So, as you can see, this block diagram. So, this V reference and plus V reference minor reference voltages are provided to drive this the basic circuitry and then uh, it uses an R to R ladder circuit. So, the R to R ladder circuit actually this R to R ladder circuit is connected to uh, uh, can be connected to an op amp actually which basically accepts the inputs from the digital section and gives you the analog uh, current that is I naught which is a current that flows. So a D to A converter uh, like especially this DAC 0808 provides the current output it does not provides the voltage output straight, straight away. So we need to connect a separate current to voltage converter using an op amp circuit or maybe putting a resistor across that the load side so that we can get the equivalent uh, voltage corresponding to current. So basically this R to R ladder gives you the different current values for the different steps of the digital inputs that is the fundamental concept of this DAC. Now if you look at the uh, DIP package of a DAC 0809, 0808 it is given here. The 0808 is a DAC one which we are going to use it with 8051 microcontroller. So any 8 bit DAC this is a preferred chipset. So it comes it is a 16 pin chip so which consists of the the digital inputs from LSP to MSP and gives you the analog output that is in form of the current I naught which is pin number 4 and it accepts the supply voltage that is plus ref, uh, VCC and minus VE that is pin number 3 and uh, 4 uh, pin number 3 and pin number 13 is VCC and VE and 2 so it needs a dual supply but uh, VCC can be 5 volt VE is supposed to be in the range of minus 9 minus 12 volts and V reference and minus V reference it uh, depends on what type of the output uh, whether the negative going positive going or if it is only one sided output if you need you can connect this uh, V reference. So generally V reference uh, positive will be connected to plus 5 volt that is basically to give the I reference for the DAC. So there is an important thing here with the pin number 14. Pin number 14 should be connected uh, to a supply voltage through a resistor. So that will decide what is the I reference given. For example, if you are giving it 2 milliampere as I reference value, 
then the V reference is supposed to be connected with the uh, 5 volt with the 5 kilo ohm resistor sorry uh, 10 volt with the 5 kilo ohm resistor that gives it 2 milliampere because 10 volt by 5 kilo ohm is actually 2 milliampere so that 2 milliampere is taken as a reference voltage for the conversion so V reference you can ground it so these are the overall pin description of a dual in that that is a DAC 0809 further detail about this DAC can be obtained from the data sheet which I will be discussing later. Now here is a typical application circuit that can be used with the DAC. So as I already mentioned DAC will uh, having 8 inputs that is A1 to A8 which is a digital inputs supposed to be connected to the IO ports of the microcontroller or any of the digital circuits which gives this 8 bit digital value. Now how do you decide what is the analog voltage that you are getting that is why pin number 4 gives you the current that is converted to the voltage so that I0 into 5 kilo ohm will give you the current voltage sorry I0 into so pin number 4 gives you the current so that current is actually is given to an inverting amplifier here so minus gives you the positive voltage at the output V0 that current is actually voltage can be uh, formalized I0 into 5K gives you the voltage. So basically this DAG gives you the current value but is converted to the voltage using this op amp or if you don't want this op amp you can even connect a 5 kilo ohm value but uh, directly from this pin number 4 to ground if you connect a 5K value you will get but only problem is the loading effect. The voltage keeps remaining changing it was not makes you the constant current because you, you, you have to look back to that R2 or ladder circuit R2 or ladder circuit alone if you connect if you connect a load the, the effective resistance keeps changing. So to avoid that we have to use an op amp here that is why this op amp is used in the inverting mode. So you can get this voltage at the output. So uh, do not expect that uh, DAC gives you straight away analog voltage it gives you the current and that current has to be converted to the voltage using a simple inverting circuit. So what is that reference current that is used actually here? I already mentioned the reference current is decided by the VREF pin. So VREF pin is uh, pin number 14. Pin number 14 is VREF pin. So the V reference is actually calculated uh, the uh, V reference value is calculated depending on what is I reference rated. So I reference typically greater than 2 milliampere can be used according to the data sheet. So if you want to set 2 milliampere here you can see 10 volt is connected and a 5 kilo ohm resistor is connected. That means the pin number 14 will give you a current value of 10 volt by 5 kilo ohm which is 2 milliampere. So 2 milliampere is the basic current that flows through the circuit for every single uh, value chain. So that 2 milliampere into 5 kilo ohm if you multiply you get 10 volt. So that is actually the V reference value. So that is a maximum voltage that you can get at the output. So minimum it depends on different levels of the digital input. So this is a typical connection that you supposed to see. So VCC should be 5 volt and VE should be minus 15 volts and rest of the circuitry connection should be made according to the, uh, the data, data it recommended in the data sheet. So this is about a typical connection with the DAC 0809. To know further about this DAC 0809 you can straight away refers to the, the, the data sheet of this DAC which is downloaded uh, from a Texas instrument. This is a chip from the Texas instruments actually so you can just go through this part uh, the features of this so we will come to know each and everything about this DAC as I mentioned I reference should be greater than 2 milliampere so that you can get a better accuracy here so it was mentioned here in this data sheet that I reference value should be 2 milliampere and uh, least change for an LSB is 255 times I ref by 256 so that is plus or minus 1 LMB of the change. So then if you uh, go further you can get the different uh, uh, meaning for different pin description uh, that is given here typical ratings everything is given and this is the application circuit which I have already discussed. So the same circuit can be implemented whenever you are going to use it in any of the uh, DAC applications. Now. Uh, coming to the, the current calculation, 
so i think somewhere it is given here about the calculation of the current so as you can see here just look at this part so v naught is given by 10 volt into a1 by 2 a2 by 4 so on a8 by 256 so that is actually the corresponding calculation for all this so this this is a basic calculation that is even applicable for that the basic DAG that you have already studied with R2 or ladder. So same the circuitry uh, same uh, formula you have to retain. So this is a typical circuit a test circuit and here is a formula the I0 is given by K times A1 by 2 A2 by 4 they are the digital weights and where K is actually V ref by R14 that is what I said I reference so it is an amplified version of I reference that you are getting so that I naught value you are converting it to voltage using a inverting amplifier so this formula you have to keep in the mind so generally for uh, uh, digital input like 0 we are designing it 0 volt for uh, FF we are going to get 5 volt with that we can calculate straight away with whatever the logic level we need so these are the simple application circuits which are given in the user manual so that is the reference uh, data sheet so you can refer to it so quite a lot of application circuits were given if you are really using DAC for any of the application so whenever we use this DAC with 8051 what is the typical circuit to be maintained so here is a typical circuit that is supposed to construct whenever you are uh, interfacing DAC with 080 uh, 8051 so I think uh, if a question appears in exam generate a square wave or a triangular wave using 8051 or a DAC uh, 0808 with 8051 you supposed to write the circuit diagram at least indicating the digital inputs and analog outputs you can just show and uh, rest of the programs you can actually uh, make depending on the, the, the voltage level required at the analog side. So here you can see all the digital inputs are connected to the port and you getting a current output which is connected to the simple R. So that's why the simple R gives you the voltage for time being this is okay. If you are particularly into some application you can put a voltage uh, uh, I mean inverting amplifier here. So this is a typical connection that is already discussed. So here is an application program that is used to generate a square wave using a DAC. So now the DAC is supposed to be connected to port 0 and as you can see this program is available in the lab manual. So this program actually creates a you know a sending the value corresponding to 0 and logic high with certain frequency. So very simple program port 0 is loaded with initially 0 0 as you can see here and then uh, call delay is called and then made it FF and delay is called. So every time when the 0 is loaded the digital output analog output will be 0 whenever FF is loaded analog output becomes 5 volt. Now how do you get a 5 volt that depends on what is the reference current and reference voltage that you are setting. So that will decide as well the gain of the amplifier ok. So right now this is a simple program uh, with the delay. Uh, that can be used with the DAC. So another program that you can see here is a ramp generation. So generating a ramp wave. So ramp wave you can also generate. So it is sequentially increasing from 0 0 till FF and again comes back to 0 again. So it is a ramp or a sawtooth kind of a wave that you are going to generate. So here you can see how exactly this program is written. So you can see here port 0 is uh, loaded with initially 0, a value is initialized with accumulator as 0 that loaded to port 0 and you are incrementing the accumulator here by 1 calling a small delay. This delay required the step size so that if you remove this delay it will be uh, in a maximum frequency whatever possible the ramp that can be generated. And every time the S jump will repeat to up again loading the value to port 0 incrementing the A. So every time accumulator value initially 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so on till FF it goes. 
so for every value that you are putting to the port corresponding analog output comes so that looks like increasing fashion till ff and suddenly after ff one more increment makes it zero zero so we are not taking care of any carry here so it comes back to zero again so the waveforms looks like a ramp or a sawtooth so this is something like you are going to have a ramp uh, like so you send zero it will be zero here next one more step next one more step next one more step so on so till it reaches ff it goes here suddenly it becomes zero it comes back again with zero one two three so on it goes in different step and reaches till ff and again becomes zero so this is a waveform that you are going to generate on the DAC so this will be 0 volts and this will be 5 volt depending on the uh, the amplifier so corresponding this to FF so this is corresponds to FF the value is 5 volt so this is how this ramp wave can be generated using a DAC now if you want to increase the frequency the time delay that you are giving here for every sample can be increased so if you increase this uh, time delay so you can actually generate the so if you want to more steps then in the steps you call so that it can come down so you can adjust the level to any of this if i want to 3 volt then calculate so 0 to 3 so 0 to 3 volt if you want to generate means so ff is 5 volt then 3 volt is how much so you can do this calculation in the program you can increment only till that value so that gives you the the ramp voltage for any particular level now this another program is actually a step waveform uh, the detail is given so we are going to get this another type of a ramp but the different steps 0 1 3 4 5 in a repetitive fashion very simple logic is framed uh, this is a very easier program so using the ramp uh, using the DAC you can generate even triangular wave you can have, have a look into this triangular wave it goes till FF then again uh, till the increment happens here with the ramp here so you, we are going to compare it with the FF and uh, decrement and then one more set is happening with the increment so increment happens here and decrement happens here so you get a triangular wave it goes till ff and slowly decrements till 0 0 0 again goes till ff slowly decrements till 0 0 so this gives us triangular view so such programs are there you can refer to the manual so so this is how you can interface a, a 8051 with the DAC with the circuit already mentioned and these are the programs that you can find it in the manual so if any doubt please post your ask questions here or you can uh, contact me personally. Thank you.